the nightmare and now Nick's like sitting on boxes. Sitting on boxes. I won't even try to explain what just happened. Oh, we haven't got the lights on. No, it was like we'd been abducted by aliens or something. Sitting on boxes. Sitting on boxes. Oh. I won't even try to explain what just happened. Oh, we haven't got the lights on. No, it was like we everything went wrong. The, the camera didn't work, the mouse stopped working, the mic stopped working, so we set it off on the other computer. And the, the camera stopped working on that computer. It's like we had poltergeists in the room or yeah. something. and then because we had to set... So noisy. Is the, oh, you've opened I the put, window. I put the open the window because it was so hot. Because we had it set up on the other computer, we couldn't get rid... We had two of us in the stream, so we couldn't get rid of that, and it was just every time we spoke, it, it sounded like we were so, on Mars or something. It was just... Absolutely bizarre. Use the link above to join us. New stream. <laughs> oh, that just says W stream. <laughs> now the keyboard's not working. Stress. Breathe. <laughs> I've never had Breathe. every piece of equipment just decide to go no no it won't work anyway we haven't set up our lights so yeah sorry we look not great <laughs> but at least you can see us and hear us i can leave one a bit nearer oh dear kath says can't find you in the big telly now sorry about that kath oh no we're not in the big telly <laughs> oh is that kath the kath sent these Yes, I'm not think sure so. if it's the right calf. Um, we shared last week that we found uh, one of the more unusual Buzz Buzzards games. You know, these Buzz games. Um, and Kath said, oh, I've got some buzzers knock knocking around. Do you want me to send them over? And I said, that would be really kind of you if you want to. And she did. But she also sent some software, which is awesome. Yeah. So, Kath, if you're watching, I don't yeah, I is, is that the same Kath? That's the same Kath, isn't I it? I think it is. I can't see the chat. I think yet. so. So, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. So, um, while we're on the um, subject of tech gremlins, um, you will notice if you watch Carla, she keeps being thrown out of the chat. And the last couple of weeks, we ended up getting thrown out of the chat as well. Not the chat, the the whole thing we just disappear um so if that happens sorry about that we will get back in as soon as possible but there's something weird going on with Streamyard, and, and just, our, our internet has been shocking so we might just vanish anyway <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah nick looks brighter than me because he's got a light next to him what you mean more intelligent <laughs> Well, you are really, aren't you? No. Let's put it that way. Don't be daft. <sighs> anyway, sorry, that's that's a world record for us. We were like 15 minutes late to our own stream. <laughs> well, we weren't really because we were here before 8 o'clock to go live. But then just, yeah, nothing Honestly, worked. Honestly, came worked. to basically click go and it was like, oh, the mouse isn't working. That's okay. Oh, the camera isn't working. That's not helpful. Yeah. Oh, the mic... It's like, how? How, how, how? Anyway. <sighs> oh, dear. Anyway. <laughs> we won't say I lots. I everyone's okay tonight. <laughs> yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? So, hello to everyone. We won't do our usual and pick out some names and highlight them because we're so late. We're just going to start sharing cool stuff. Yes, but hello, everyone. <laughs> <sighs> Did we have any other shout outs to do quickly? I, I always forget things. We said thank you to Kath. No, I don't think I don't so. Know. Right, shall we start with the epic pickup of the day? Or should we start with the almost epic pickup of the day? Oh, no. <laughs> we, we went to... A, I'll, a, I'll have a sip of my coffee. We went to a Jumble Trail. We actually went to two, but one overlapped the other. So by the time we got to the second one, they were packing up. But we did get possibly the second best pickup of the day right at the end of the day, didn't we? Yeah. Um, so anyway, we, we parked up, started walking to the first store we, we could see, and then we, we, we'd we left our phones in the car. So we turned around, walked back to the car, lost about 20 seconds. Walking up to the first store, I spot a GameCube, and I spot a bloke reaching for it, 
picked it up as i walk up to the store he goes how much is this the guy says oh five pound the lot you may well be watching <laughs> you may well be watching um five pound the lot i think there was two official pads with it it looked like and i was like oh seriously and then and they said and did you want the other thing and i looked down ps1 really nice original issue with two pads <laughs> it's like five quid sure oh <laughs> but mm. i did get from the same stall some vinyl that which made me feel a bit better i wish e i'd Emily's bought more so nice mug thank you very much emily uh, this was actually a present from mel sparrow's end um yeah, oh was it, it was, yeah. um so i did pick up some vinyl which made me feel better and i wish i would spent more time and went through it properly but i did pick out a few bits this is scissor sisters the original uh, 2014 issue it's been reissued in really good condition you can get 50 quid for this i've seen completed at that this one is very obviously used and a bit abused. So I don't know. In that condition, I might be looking at 2030. Um, but because it was issued in 20, 2004, um, vinyl wasn't hadn't had its big resurgence then. So it was limited numbers. So that was nice. This, I thought, be, could be something really special. Nirvana, the Dirty Funker remixes of Lithium for promotional use only. But it's, I think it's 15, 20 quid. So not amazing, but nice for a oh, pound. Nice. Pacific, uh, 808 State, Pacific State and Cubic is about 10 to 15. And Linkin Park, or Jay-Z and Linkin Park, Numb, uh, is, I think I saw one complete at about 30 quid. So for four quid, it's not bad. But um, I wish so I got the GameCube. <laughs> talk about um, the Jumble Trail and the vlogs. And we didn't vlog this one, but there is one in the can that you just need to edit um, from no, the last one. We did. I, I don't think I'm oh, going to do that. that no, one. there's hardly any footage that was oh, worth doing. Afraid not then. Probably we not. Didn't do we didn't vlog today. Um, I didn't have enough battery power, so I, I couldn't vlog. Yeah. And um, I don't know why you didn't. <laughs> I was just exhausted and not in the headspace um, well, because we'll we had a why we were exhausted <laughs> yeah let's just dip on that i think i put big changes here yesterday yeah. was a big day for us because our daughter left home and went well, to university well you know she's she's, 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 she's now living somewhere else so she is she did leave home um yeah go on. yeah we took her to brighton yesterday and moved her into her new accommodation and um it was very it was a long day. We had to get up at five in, in the morning mm. because uh, we had to get her there by nine. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we were very tired and very emotional, all of us. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was um, it was it was a momentous day. <laughs> it was, it was it a long way. day, a lot of driving. We, we were going to stay down there and that didn't work out. So drove all the way to Brighton shifted what felt like tons of gear yeah. up to her six eighth, eighth store eighth floor, eight, eighth floor <laughs> flat um and then all the emotional stuff which wears you out and then and then ellen decided we wanted to walk into brighton center oh, yeah. and then go to the beach so we did about like about a three or four mile hike yeah <laughs> and yeah, then drove all the back because it... <laughs> bus back it was a bit of a way and then drove all the way home and then i didn't get much sleep so in a nutshell, I was knackered, so I wasn't in the headspace for filming, which is so, a shame because yeah. we picked up some nice stuff. And today we just wanted to relax and just, you know, be distracted <laughs> for the day. And, you know, so it was a bit like that. So, oh, Ken, Kenneth, then. Um, yeah. I just, let me highlight. Hello, mate. Haven't heard from you for, for a while. I hope you're okay. Um, yeah, still going strong. <laughs> still buying lots. Yeah, it did come out on vinyl and is sought after. So, like I was saying, probably in very limited numbers. Um, yes, yeah. Good luck to Ellen. She she was very oh, upset. Really. But upset we spoke us. to her about an hour ago, and she has made some good friends already in her on her floor they kind of divide it up into apartment blocks kind of thing she has a room in, with another seven students yeah. 
Uh, so we feel happy that she's got some good friends there. Yeah. We met a couple of them. I felt relieved to see her smiling when we, we FaceTimed her earlier. So. Yeah, I think she's going to be okay. Yesterday it was all kind of, what have I done? Yeah. I don't think I'm cut out for this. And we're like, oh. Yeah. But, you know, everybody who's got kids that have gone away to uni or you've been to uni, we all know what it's like when you... That first day when it's like you look around and you're like, oh, my God, I'm all by myself and I don't know what I'm doing. And mm. yeah, it's it's a bit of a shock to the system. It, it looked like she took half the house with her. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah. felt like she did. We filled, <laughs> we filled the estate the car. car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it, really. Uh, Kimmy Kitty says, I bet you were exhausted physically and mentally. Yeah, we all were. Um, okay. Yeah, I would have loved to, Rich. Um, and if we'd have been staying down there, we would have been able to fit that in. But it, yeah, there was we no will time. do at some point, though, because we will be down there a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, we will do at some point. Sharpie was down there last Friday. Um, good stuff. Oh, somebody said they've never been to Brighton. I, I suggest it. It's a, it's a lovely place. It's a fun city to visit. It really is. Um, so back to... Oh, John. Selena said, did I spy the car boot trolley? We didn't. Well, our old car boot trolley's dead. <laughs> it is now in the scrapyard. <laughs> um, so, no, yeah, we, we, didn't take, we didn't take our own trolley with us. No, the university were super organised. Um, it was run like a military operation, and it had to be. There were, like, three or four massive tower blocks for these students to live in. Ellen's, they're still building it. The ground couple of floors, which I think are communal areas, were still building sites yeah. that the, the whole flats, the eight or nine stories of flats were just finished. So she had a brand new room, never been lived in. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the, I just want to say that if all the people that were helping, you know, with the move and all the organization and everything and everybody who worked for the university <laughs> were just fantastic. So oh. friendly, so helpful. They went out of their brilliant. way. Yeah. yeah. Loved yeah. it. That was, that part of it was great, which made it a lot easier. Um, right. We've got a lot of stuff to share. So um, yeah, Ellen settled in and she feels like she's feeling better about things. Yeah. Um, so your find of the day My easily. The day. Not just this. Not just, oh, <laughs> not, not just one vintage glass lampshade. Um, Seven. These <laughs> were a pound each. Yeah. Let me give you a close up while so, you talk about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just spotted them on the table and saw they were a pound each. And I was like, oh, yeah. And this was <laughs> no um, brainer. This was outside a 1910, 1920s, really nice semi-detached house. And she said, Yeah, all of the all of these were hanging in this house. And we looked at it and we went, Yeah, that's about oh. right for the age of these. Ben is in Brighton. <laughs> Ah, excellent. Yeah, he said he was going. Yeah. So, yeah, these came out of the woman's house that we were stood outside. Yeah, which... and she said that they were there in the house when they moved in. And she thought they were 20s, 30s um, dated. So um, was this this one was your favourite? Oh, no, that one. But you liked this one as well, didn't you? This was my favourite, the one I held up oh, first. I, I think that's my favourite as well. But, yeah, this is nice sort of blush pink glass one. So yeah, really lovely. continuing the theme of Andrea wants to buy the most ridiculous things to package in the world. Here we go. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Um, that is nice. It is lovely. And it's got a really nice little, you see the edging on it. Yeah, sort of scalloped edge, maybe. I don't know if you call it scalloped, it. I don't know. but I think these will go really well if you hold that. Yeah, one. so there is um, a set of three that are the same design. So there's they're all different looking in shapes, but they're all the same pattern. Yeah, really well, variations on a theme, I would call it. Yeah, all, all the same flowers. The same floral, and it's been applied in the same way. Yeah. So... Would you sell them as a three? I don't know, because that I wouldn't would be want a pack packaging nightmare, wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't it? want to package them as so a three. So probably not. Probably not. So what you're thinking these are I mean, unfortunately, 30s? that does have a little bit of bit chipped there, but I think you'd still be able to use it. It's not cracked. So, so you're thinking these are maybe 30s or 40s? I think 30s, yeah. So there was all of those, and then I'm not so keen on this one. 
Yeah, it's not my taste, but I don't mind it, you know, in terms of reselling it. And this one seems it's... quite plain to me. Actually, I think that one is going to be quite sought after. I think that's lovely. Do you? Yeah, I think that's really simplistic. I think that's the kind of thing that, you know, somebody would want in their house now. I really so, like that. So they were all sat there. Oh, Siri is chatting to us. Hi, Siri. Yeah, they were all sat there right. fairly late. Nibbled in the... edge. That's, that's, yeah. Nibbled edge. That's what it's got. Oh, on that. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, so fairly late in the day, these were all sat there with a big sign on saying lampshades pound each. I'm shocked these weren't snapped up. And we just went up and we went, we'll uh, take all of those if we can. She was she was more than happy. Um, and then from another stall, we got some uh, interesting items, didn't we? Oh, yeah. I love this. I think this is plastic, actually. Where did you put all this? This is ob obviously 60s, 70s. Oh, yeah, I think it's 60s because she had two lamps as well. Mm -hmm. And um, she said that that had come from one of them. And she did have originally had two of these, but one had broken. I um, would have got the, the little wooden lamp bases that originally yeah. that went on. But they were, they were very uh, rusted. Yeah, that the wiring was knackered, which isn't a biggie. You can you can take the wiring out and sell them for someone to rewire. I could have rewired them, fine. Yeah, but the the metal on them had, had rusted. The wood was stained. They weren't nice. But she had a floor standing sixties lamp. Oh yeah, which we did buy. Should I get it? And I think it's in there that the stubby one. The stubby one. The stubby one. How are you describing it? <laughs> anyway, I love this and. I, to think that survived from the 60s and it's fairly pro fragile plastic is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Someone's nan so... is currently looking at bare light bulbs all over the house <laughs> and wondering where her lampshades oh. are. So, yeah, standard lamp. Can't get it all in, obviously. So, we'll... oh, <laughs> that's the ceiling. <laughs> Ceiling's still there. Yeah. With a hole in. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the base. You could go jousting with this. <laughs> now this <laughs> might be resold. It might be kept. Um, it's it's a rather large kind of six foot tall thing. <laughs> we we managed to get everything we bought from that stall for fifteen pounds, which included probably both of our favourite thing from that. So I don't know. I like the lampshade, but this yeah, this is really heavy. This is awesome. So vintage. I don't know when you're thinking this is similar period. Yeah, I think similar period, sort of sixties. I think it's hard to date wood and stuff, though, isn't it? Yeah. Really heavy block of. I'm no expert. Tom, the English picker, are you watching it? Tell me what wood that <laughs> I is. I doubt he is, to be honest. I'll message him. I'll send him a picture. This hasn't been attached particularly well. I may attack that and um, remount a thing on there because that's all a bit wonky and knackered. But look at that. Yeah, I think this has been rewired at some point because it has a decent plug on it and it's been tested. Oh, yeah, it's got um, a Pattis test stick on it. Yeah, the, the other ones were original wiring and they needed a complete rewire and that's above and beyond what we we can do, really. No, I could have done, but it, rewiring something like this isn't actually difficult at all. Okay. Um, the reason I didn't go on the other ones was because they were rusted. The actual parts of those front of the, oh, okay. the stands were rusted. Otherwise, I would have done. I mean, I can rewire that if it's needed. That's not a biggie. Um, yeah, I don't know, Selena, what wood it is, but it is a really nice tactile thing. I'm going to ask Tom if he knows. Mm, yeah. Looks like you. I wouldn't know, but yeah. I don't think it looks a bit like you. <laughs> it looks like you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hi, Lee. Good to see you. I oh, know that's Stu. I was clicking on Lee and Stu got in the way. <laughs> Hi, Lee. <laughs> Hi, Laney. Good to see you. Yeah, we, we wouldn't have fun today. Um, somebody was asking a question. Oh, Elaine says, my dad was a turner. He made wooden lamp bases like that. I would love to have a... a lathe and do turning i love watching the videos you've seen the videos where they turn wood or they turn all sorts of things it's what your uncle steve does isn't it my uncle steve's got a lathe 
yeah, I might have to go and spend some time with them and do some stuff. <laughs> um, yes, that stand would be a nightmare to pack. I yeah. think it's staying in our house, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll find a really nice lampshade for it at some, um, at some point out and about. So for mid-century homewares, it was a it was a stellar day. Oh, it was amazing. Um, um, shall I show you this? Oh this yeah, it's from a different store. Um, oh Lex, you are in? You'd like this? Trying to get it so it's not reflecting too much. Look at the doe-eyed little girl with a. Yeah, puppy. I mean, obviously it's very worn around the. We might need to get some black tape or something and it just go over it. Is obviously a print, but it's uh, what's that say? Oz France. Oz Francis, Francis? Litho in USA. Yeah, they do look a bit creepy, but they're, they're kind of cool. They're really, really sought after this sort of thing, aren't they? The yeah. big eyes and the... Oh, she stubbed her toe. Oh, dear. <laughs> toe injuries. <laughs> Niche market. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool. When you were buying that, did you notice that guy came up to you and you went, ooh, and pointed at it yeah, when it was in your yeah. hand? From the same store, I picked up an item that is uh, one of my favourites. And it's a shame. It's a shame he's not fully working. This is vintage. This is probably as old as me. Look at that. Hang on. Oh, you can get your hand into his bottom jaw, but not into his top. So does he just go like that, do you think? I can't get my fingers up no, into I his head. Know. Oh. <laughs> boom, boom. Now, he has. But he doesn't boom, boom anymore. So, mm, shame. Um, I just wanted to touch on this comment here. They're saying, Andrea is as bad as my wife wanting to keep all the stock. Well, the point is, we go out, we because we're thrifters, we go out and we look for stock, but at the same time, you can find things for your own houses and you can buy secondhand items for yourself. And, you know, we, we don't go out and shop at all, really. We, we barely buy anything new. So if you're looking Apart from for the home, last couple of weeks, well, that was different of setting Ellen up for uni, but um, and a lot of that was secondhand, may I add. <laughs> we just had to buy new bedding and, um, yeah, but. Be that is what you know because we're thrifters we're not just th resellers we're thrifters as well yeah so we buy things for ourselves while we're out and about so it isn't a, just about oh we bought buy that it has to be stock we buy that and think you know for instance i bought a couple of mugs today which i may um swap out for a, a couple of the mugs that we've got oh well, i'll be I, checking I i'll be checking I one in one out I'm with gonna, mugs I'm you know swap them out because i really like them they're only ikea you know how it has to work isn't that right basil <laughs> basil yes she does hoard mugs yes but, it is know, a problem as i say that's that's what we do as thrifters so it's anyway. better to have something as second hand <laughs> than go out and buy it new back to basil do you like basil uh, well, um, I don't know if I really liked him that much. When I was there was there. a there was a vintage Care Bear on the same stall, and it was one of the Care Bear animals, like not a bear. It was the penguin. But funnily enough, we did actually look it up after the fact, and they don't have much value. And he wasn't in good condition, was he? No, he was really dirty. But you see, she had assigned value to that and said, "Oh, I want six pounds for this <laughs> Care Bear that was really manky, and didn't actually have much value when when she looked him up." But this guy, she just went, oh, you can have that for a quid. And I think he's really cool. Anyway, yeah. that's Basil. Basil! Um, oh, you found some bags. and you kind Have of you ever seen the film Big Eyes with Amy Adams? I haven't. No. No. Yes, Kimmy Kitty, exactly. Thrifting is a lifestyle. So what we do as resellers is rescuing things and finding new homes for them. But it is a, a full lifestyle yes yeah. but yeah i'll back you up on what you were saying i mean we buy a lot of stuff secondhand our, we've got a great big corner leather sofa bought it through ebay secondhand our entire kitchen was bought on ebay it came out of someone else's house and we fitted it into our kitchen um our kitchen our dining room table lovely extendable table that was secondhand 
um i could go on <laughs> but, yeah. yeah emily is a mug holder as well fellow mug holder <laughs> is there like an aa group you can attend <laughs> Right, well, tell me about these bags. I didn't really ask you oh, about any um, of these. Somebody's asking you uh, where you got your racking from. It was, it was secondhand. Um, <laughs> this was from a printer's uh, print works in Luton that was closing down. I got in touch with, in fact, I think he'd advertised them on eBay. And um, no, it wasn't on it. I don't know. I got in touch with a guy anyway who was... They were clearing a printing works and I bought, we initially had way more than this. We got rid of a few and we hired a big Luton van and we went and bought them, didn't dismantle them. We just bought them as is. At this point we had, we rented like a little warehouse place and we were racking it out. We paid a few hundred pounds for these are 1960s or maybe even earlier Dexian steel racks. They're awesome. Um, so tell me about these bags. What's this one? Well, that is all a Kylie. Oh, that's I'm, I'm your... not keeping that one. Don't worry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have noticed that as being all a Kylie because it's not bright colours. Hmm. Oh, that could be quite valuable then, yeah? Yeah, that's why I pay five pounds for it. <laughs> five pounds? Five pounds. <laughs> this yeah. one, that's a bit in your face. Yeah, that one, no idea. But this woman seemed to have expensive taste and it looked... It looked like it was well, it's from got, an expensive shop. It's so. got a brand, Froy and Froy and Dind. Yeah, it looks like a well, it's a kid's backpack, isn't it? Yeah, a little diddy um, one. So anyway, I picked that up for two pounds. That was two. I remember her saying. And that. then picked that up because it's a kid's Samsonite. It does need. It's got a few marks and it needs sponging off, but um, but yeah, Samsonite obviously is quite expensive new, so I thought yeah. it was worth two pounds. That's a nice little school bag, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, I spotted this bag. <laughs> and we had a quick peek in it. And it's a... Yeah, St. Michael. <laughs> I don't want to put my hand over your face. St. Michael. It's just vintage St. Michael. It's just a really nice size. I quite like it. Yeah, it's a little bit battered. It's had it's seen some use. It's got a British Airways sticker on it. I initially got excited and I thought it might be a British Airways branded mm. thing. Vintage British Airways, but it's not. It's just got a, a sticker that says it it is um approved dimensions for under seat storage. That ages it, right? Because we will have the overhead lockers now, don't yeah. we? Um, yeah, page three. Um, I have bought and sold um, suitcases, vintage suitcases before, but not for years. We just haven't been picking them up. But that one took my fancy, so we bought it home for three quid. Um, Teresa's asking, how do we get spoon marks off the bottom of mugs? Tried oh. elbow grease and pink stuff. You're going to do a video on that? Well, no, because I've got some of the... Um, nope can't remember what it's called astonish mug cleaner and it works brilliantly on mugs you know in terms of staining etc but it didn't really do much on spoon marks so i was a bit disappointed on that so if anyone else knows <laughs> i'd oh, like to know too i thought it worked um, out really well for you it came right. off a bit but it wasn't great it wasn't as good as i wanted it to be yesterday found three old mickey and minnie mouses paid seven pound the lot oh cool excellent yeah, vin proper older vintage Mickey and Minnie stuff. Yeah, can be really sought after. Yeah. Uh, Aid says, absolutely agree, Andrea. Some items I have for sale have kept in my house. Then when they sell, wished I'd not put them up for sale. There's a lot of stuff in our living room that decative items that we have up. And then, yeah, when they sell, they go. And but yeah, then we find, some them and, find yeah. something else and, and we can enjoy them while we have them. Like ages ago, we we found these brass bonking bears. Do you remember those? <laughs> Which weirdly, when we went up to visit Kelly, yeah. flipping fantastic finds, walked in her front room, and there's the same brass bears on her side. She didn't buy them; she's bought the different ones. Um, um, yeah. yeah, and a stall talking about that um, film. It says it's a film about Margaret Keane, who first started painting the big eye chalk. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll look out for that then. That would be cool. Yeah. 
Interesting. Um, fifty p a roll. We took a chance on some wallpaper. Cliff says Nick the hoarder. Uh, thank you. Hi, Cliff. <laughs> um, hope you're well, mate. Um, yeah, fifty p a roll, which I would I would pay just as void fill. But this is Laura Ashley, so may have some decent resale value. This is a different pattern, but again, Laura Ashley. There's two what. They look like part used because they've been open. Two more Laura Ashleys. This one uh, was reduced to 15 pounds originally. And a rather fancy Graham and Brown sparkly butterflies wallpaper. Greg Rourke says, ever thought of doing a thrifting video? We've done lots of thrifting videos. Yeah, we, we've done probably hundreds of them, mate. Yeah. If you mean going out sourcing for stock, yes. I, I don't know what other sort you mean. I've, I've got thrifting videos on my channel. <laughs> Link below. Um, now, I took, a, I took a punt on a couple of... Lindsay says, I'm known as the mug lady at my town post office. That's how many mugs I sell. Excellent. Um, Selena says that's the way to do it. Let me join the mug hoarders. I have a collection of Hornsey mugs. Oh, Hornsey Ooh. mugs are nice. You like Hornsey, don't you? Yeah. Now, tap point on offer. Name of Disney film. Go first in the chat gets a tap point. Highly sought after, highly valuable. Name the Disney film. Oh, I'm going to have to go to the bottom now. Are oh, you now? He's waiting. <laughs> oh, here we go. Who's first? Who's first? Is it John? Yeah. The Good Dinosaur. Yes. Um, not one of the really, really popular and well-known Disney films, which is why I went on him and this massive Just beast. a little bit of pen mark. Yeah, there. I'm almost okay. certain I can get that off. This is a beast. That's from the same film. And I do have the little caveman who sits on the back of that. Hold him for me. Oh, yeah. oh he, do you, you want to try and make him make... Ah, get out of here! Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the Apparently he stomps as well. You have no business being out here. I got a job for you. Don't overthink it. <laughs> that first light, we ride. We got long horns to round up. Well, wow, talkative little fella. Oh, hang on. How'd you get your scar? Oh. They're talking ones. Cool. Anyway, my logic was they're, they're quite large figures. I didn't know this was a talking one. The, Some... little, the little kid told me all about that one talking and gave me a demo, didn't he? So I figured... Uh, Kimmy Kitty says his name is Arlo. Oh, oh, yes, it is. Yes, that. Yes, you're right. So I do have the little dude. This, this guy's Arlo, right? I don't know. I haven't seen the film yet. Amazingly, I haven't. Um, I yeah. That. So what I was trying to say was slightly less, oh, okay. slightly lesser known, large figures, both talking, worth a five of the pair. I have no idea what the resale. Oh, value Cliff is. says we're blurry. I don't know why we're blurry. Is it the? Is this? Does this need a wipe? No. Look, we're coming through fine here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone else think we look blurry? Anyway, so... We're, we're using our laptop, and usually that's better. Yeah, but it's wireless and our internet's crap. Yeah, that's true. We're having problems. So, I don't know. Let me know how you think I did there. Five pounds for the... Death by dinosaur. Dinosaurs. <laughs> we bought a lot of stuff from them, including... Oh, look. Um, so, Selena says... Oh, wow. Amazing find. Very sought after with us Disney nuts. Yeah, you were Disney saying. Disney nuts. <laughs> you were saying, weren't it's you, fun. that, yeah, I'm a Disney nut. Um, you were saying that you don't see very many of the toys around. No, that's what I was just explaining. Oh, that's yeah. one of the more I'm obscure sorry. films. I was looking at this. Um, oh, well, so, yeah, people are saying we're blurry. Sorry. We're, uh, you know, we've, it, at least you can see us. Is like soft focus hour, is quite an a hour good. Or so ago, you couldn't see us. Soft focus is good. <laughs> I bought a BT BT big button phone. Um, 
because it was a pound uh, with its docking. It's also an answering machine, probably an easy 15, 20 quid. Don't know, haven't looked up that model yet. But I was trying to get to some turtles. Oh, turtles. Now, same stall. It was interesting that they they oh, wanted... A bit blurry compared to background, so maybe it's focusing more on our background. Don't know why. We'll have to just persevere. Yeah, so they wanted £5 for the little dinosaur things, and then I spotted all the turtle stuff, which is in a bit of a higgledy-piggledy mess now. There's Playmobil figures in it, bits of Mr. Potato Head. Christina says, you both look boutique. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good, so thank you. <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. Be better than some of the things we were called on my up hat date video. That was fun. <laughs> look at this. Yeah. So it's we're thinking of getting t-shirts made up. Cash grabbing morons. <laughs> <laughs> and that, was, that was one of the funniest ones. Cash grabbing morons. What? What, what now? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know the name of this vehicle, but it has all four. In fact, it has more than four. I hope, I'm hoping it's got the four turtles from the same series. Looks like it does. And then one extra one, I think. Um, but they only wanted two quid for this with all of the turtles. There's loads of weapons as well. So yeah, all day long that's coming home with me. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Kind of like a tank thing. Yeah. I'm not a turtles expert by any means. Your the phone is fifteen pounds. Mark Clark says. Oh, I was pretty close then. Uh, so that was nice. Oh, we had a weird, weird thing. We we were we'd been to three or four stalls, and I was putting something we just bought in an IKEA bag. We'd parked up the car, and we were walking at this point. And as I was putting stuff in my bag, in the bottom of the bag oh, was this. Yeah. I didn't put it there. Andrew didn't put it there. We have no idea. I think that maybe it fell. Where into this it. came from. <laughs> uh, I, no, it's not gold or anything. It's, it's worthless. Can you imagine? <laughs> but um, I think that there was a moment where something tipped over and you went, oh, and you put it back. So I wonder if it just slid off the table at that point. I don't know. I don't know. Can but... I name the four turtles? Michelangelo, um, <laughs> Leonardo, Raphael, Raphael, Leonardo, and they're all painters, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm stuck on the fourth. We could have gone. I think we've been to, actually, we've been to more stalls than that by this point. We've been down that first long road. We could have gone back to every store we'd visited and asked, I guess. But by this time, we were right down that yeah. first long row. But it was the weirdest thing because also, I didn't even, the first time I clocked it, I didn't even question it. So I thought you'd bought yeah. it and just chucked and it in. I noticed you push it aside and I said to you, why did you pick up a necklace? And you went, I didn't. You did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was Donatello. Weird. Yeah. Thank you. I'd have got there eventually. Oh, you got that from the oh, from yeah. the store where we got the great, great this little lamp. This is nice. It's only small, but it's Danish teak. Um, if anyone couldn't see what that says, Carl Holmberg, um, Atka, Akta Teak, Sweden. Yeah, that's cool. Like right that. This needs some attention. It's a Playmobil ship, but I think it's missing the mast. Um, but it came with a, a whole bunch of figures and it was 50p. I'd have paid that for the six or seven figures it came with. But I think I'm missing the mast. Um, there's loads of gear in here. Oh, loads of gear. Now, you went to a store. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When we were buying all the stuff, they were actually helping us carry all the bits to the car. Yeah, because we had lots of little fiddly bits. And and, and the lady, it was a hard... I assume husband and wife. And she suddenly said, do I recognise you from YouTube? And I was like, possibly. Yeah. So if you're watching, it was very nice to meet you. And um, thank you for the lovely bits, because um, it's one of my favourite pickups of the day, to be honest. We've got some lovely um, stainless steel candle holders. Got three of those. I don't know what else you got from there. Uh, this is right up my street. I love, love mid-century bits like this um don't know 
know actually if they match, but um, two wooden grinders. Um, actually, I don't think they do match because that's that's a grinder and that's a shaker. So I don't know. Probably probably put them on together anyway. But they were really nice. The necklace could um, have been inside something you bought and fell out into yeah, the bag. Maybe, Possibly. Maybe. It's very strange. It was a weird um, moment. It's a couple of egg cups. Uh, different designs actually the one this one says what's that carl holmberg hall england stainless steel uh or they're both all old hall but they're slightly different what does carl holmberg 30 pounds mean what we're we talking about i don't know this this oh really that was basically chucked in with the lamp and the Yeah, other she bits. wanted 10p for it, and then we just got the, the lot for And she did a 15. deal at 15 with the really nice chunky one yeah. and the tall one and something else. What else was it? Um, from the same stall, picked up this really lovely mug, which it's got made in England. Does anyone recognise that symbol in the middle there on the bottom? Because I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, I really like that, actually. That's that's very much my style. Is that a letter that way? Possibly. A M? M? Is it an M, M that Or it way? might be a W, B or something. Well, you'd I don't think know. it would be... Um, oh, no, no, Mitt. Just not... Yeah. Moo Moo Sheru. <laughs> Adam and Gary. Oh, the turtle tank is a vintage one. Do you think? I didn't even look for a date. One minute. Oh, I assumed it was fairly modern because the figures look modern. La, da, 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 da. Right. 2006. No, it's not a vintage 91. I'd be excited if it was. 2006. Oh, Stephen says the mark looks like a mug shape. Yeah, possibly. Um, what have we not done? Um, anyway, from that same stall, these aren't vintage, but um, I always pick up VA if I see it because it sells well, and that's a really nice VA mug. <coughs> oh, is this still from the yeah, still from the same stall? <laughs> and this is Q Gardens, so I picked up that as well because that's just a really nice mug. Um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, this is lovely. This is um, a flower vase. Um, just got numbers on the bottom, no branding or anything. But oh yeah, we could use the really uh, lovely. Love that. We could do. That's a good use for that um, photo thing. Yeah, yeah. I probably yeah. will do. Um, there were some other bits, weren't there, that we picked up from them? Well, did you show these handkerchiefs? No, I grabbed these. Um, well, you'd, you'd created a little heap. I think there might be more stuff. There's boxes and boxes of stuff. Over there. Yeah, Andrew had created a heap of ceramics and mid-century oh, stuff. On, I and I, I found these handkerchiefs, brand new in the box. Lena. Lena? Made in Switzerland. Lena. They, right, they these look. are Tudor Knight made in England cruet set, stainless steel cruet set. They just look nice for 20p. And what does that say? What does what say? On the bottom. Curver. Curver. And yeah, melamine. But love them really. They? They're, just, They're not just plastic. They were 20p, weren't they? So. <laughs> Well, no, they're, they're nice for camper vans, nice. camper exactly, van yes. color, and very trendy color as well. So, love that. Awesome, love that. So, if um, you're I'll watching the, the couple that sold us all that stuff, thank you. It was lovely yes. to uh, it's lovely to meet you. To see and, you and um, you've kind of made my day because I love all these this sort of stuff. So, um, hmm. this might be hard to part with. Now, I bought, oh, blimey, I bought loads of Playmobil uh, from one store I picked up. Oh, the castle. Now, this is a, like a taken play castle. Uh, 
there you can see it folds up into a carry case and then it folds out to that uh it's got all of the figures in it he reckoned there was a bit of an issue with the catapult or something um but i got this and then he had loads of little can you just pass the playmobil? bill so there was that and lots of extra it's like a pirate guy he's really nice like that. That's a bit Pirates of the Caribbean, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it might even be. Is I it? don't think they licensed it. Oh, but... okay. What's this? Oh, no, these are Marvel characters. Loads of cool figures. Um, there's a few other bags and bits and bobs. Anyway, I've got everything for £10. The castle should be a comfortable 30 35 I want to say. Oh, and these. He chucked in these as well. Playmobil DVDs. Who knew? Yeah, so that was a really nice score. I've got everything for 10. There's loads of it. It was a Playmobil day for me. Yeah. So many stores I was picking up figures for as little as 10p each. Look at that. Such cool figures. There's knights in here. They'll go with the castle well. Yeah, so... Um... To go back to the uh, little mid-century hall um, set of four, <coughs> oh, I'm going to cough. Um, what do you call them? Napkin rings. <coughs> got the, for once, the dust, dust the dust is getting <laughs> to Andrea, not me. <coughs> oh, you, you explain. <coughs> and I'll have a sip of what, tea. Explain what? They're, they're sta rings. stainless steel napkin rings. I don't know what I'm supposed to explain. <laughs> do you want to go for it? A... I'm one of them. <coughs> It's fun, isn't it, when you have a <laughs> cough and fit on the fun, internet? Yeah, it's lovely. Drink some tea, you'll be fine. Um, I don't know what I'm explaining, but look, re re really nice. Um, <laughs> Set of um, napkin rings. Nicely designed, simplistic like napkin rings. I like those. <laughs> and that stall, I mean, the pricing was set of four, 50p, and these sort of things were like 20p each, weren't they? There was Maybe also. Eyes run. Oh, and you've got uh, that. And a plant well. pot as well. Plant pot. That's a modern thing. Yeah, made in Germany, though. You do like Germany, don't you, for your <laughs> ceramics? Um, I do. Most of that in there is books and media. You probably don't want to see that. Oh, this was interesting, though. Quite a nice thing. People it's... keep asking for your media, though. Oh, well, I'll show you a media pickup in a sec. Well, this is one, actually. This is uh, it's a set of ten books, like little miniature books. But... So you've got 10 little books, but then you've got 40 stories on the CD. So it's an audio book and normal book set. I thought it was really nice for, I think I paid two pounds for it. No idea what it will go for. It's got an RRP of 65 pounds on the base, but they never sell them for that, do they? On the book set, so say RRP, 120 pounds, and then it's never sold for that. Oh, I bought some amazing sets of books, didn't I? Those um, Biff Chip and Kipper ones. They were they were steel, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, as was this. Look at the artwork on that one. Really nice vintage. Now I'm thinking 70s. Oh, M's M's might. MCM LXXVII, so it's A 56, 78, 1978. 1978, not quite as old as us, <laughs> but nearly, <laughs> but almost. <laughs> um, it is missing a couple of the, the little uh jumper things, jumper <laughs> things, but I have loads of spares of these. So I will make that complete, and that is a lovely condition, one of these. Perfect Christmas present for an old fogey like you or I. So I get away with that. So I get away with that. <laughs> yeah, 50p. Right at the end of the day as well. Oh, and a rummy cub for... What did I pay on this one? Was it a pound? I think it was a pound. Classic rummy cub. Um... The lady said, oh, yeah, didn't like that, didn't get on with it. And I was like, okay. We love them. We love that game. 
and it's not cheap and it always sells so for a pound or two i'm always going to grab it and for 50p a zoe sag cordially invited book that is one of the first edition ones that she signed now i've had signed zoella books before and, and they probably don't struggle but it was to 50p sell it. and i quite fancied having a look at it yeah so It'll probably go at Christmas, to be fair. it's It looks yeah. like it's barely been thumbed through. Yeah. It's one of those things that you get for Christmas, and then you think, hmm. She I probably signed, it. she's probably signed like 10,000 well, of them. I watched a video of her signing, of signing and signing and Did signing. You? So, yeah. And I picked up that, don't know if it's resellable, but um, we've got so many kids in our family, and we love Eric Carl. Well, I read Eric Carl books or had them read to me in the 70s it's yeah. it's lovely to read books to your nieces and nephews that you were reading when you were a kid oh, and his so his nice. artwork is amazing it's all done by a uh, cutout yeah um obviously he was famous for the very hungry caterpillar i bought one today didn't i you did a big plush one where'd that go there's a bag of plush oh somewhere. yeah um yeah, love Eric oh, Carl. He's he's done it. loads of books. He's famous for the Very Hungry Caterpillar, but he's done loads, and they're all really good. Look at that. That's yeah, stunning. It's gorgeous. It's like a phoenix. Is that a phoenix? It's an eagle. It's an eagle. Yeah, and then I found a page. <clears throat> yes, a Kimmy. Illustration. It's very of its time, but it's also timeless, if you know what I'm saying. It's brilliant. So if it's not resellable, um, it will be gifted. <laughs> oh, I like that phrase. A signed book is a sold book, as they say, oh. unless it's a Ralph Harris one. <laughs> <laughs> when do you start listing for Christmas? Now, I yeah. would just just go for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah people um, are already Christmas shopping. Yeah, Mummy Cub doesn't stick around, does it, if, if you can get it. Um, always check it's got the right number of tiles because it can affect the game if you don't have all the all the tiles if you played it you know what i'm talking about um some ps4 games in there did you want to show those oh you can but they're they're pretty crap oh, okay. <laughs> i i struggled to find any i missed the the gamecube like the minute in and then i found next to no software for the rest of the day when i saw these i thought i'll have my software fix uh pound the game there's no real value here, unfortunately, I don't think, anyway. Was the sad lamp for you? No, but I mean, I might tie it up. I've never really experimented with a uh, sad lamp. But, yeah, you can show it. It's um, seasonal affective disorder. I'm sure you know, but for those that don't, um, a lot of people are affected by, in the winter months, the lack of sunlight that you know yeah. dark mornings dark evenings and a lot of people swear by using a sad lamp which gives you that um sunlight that natural light mm. um this is one of those they sell really well i've never tried one i might do i i don't know i think i do get affected in the winter months um we have friends who do as well and it's a re very real thing so these are popular and sell is the point uh that was two pounds not had that mate before that I remember. Bure. <laughs> Can't say it. Made in Germany. Must be good. It must be. Um, I've got another couple of mugs. This one, 50p. It's a Harry Potter cauldron mug. Yeah, I thought that was awesome. I didn't That's even spot cool. that. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, a pyramid one. Well, it wasn't even 50p. This was oh, at yeah. the end of the day. This guy was... Um, after the official end of the, the event, this guy was still going strong. We were struggling to find any. This was in the second one we went to, wasn't it? Yeah. Struggling to find any stalls set up. So we went and I bought, I'll show you in a minute, a big, big haul of stuff from him. And he came down on the price and down on the price. And then he chucked in everything else that you had picked up, didn't he? And the other bits I picked up and all the hair dye. Yeah. So this was free. <laughs> So official merch, and that will sell itself. Yeah, that's very nice. And yeah. I won't be keeping it. <laughs> it's like a cauldron, isn't it? 
But these I'm thinking of, of keeping. Um, there, there was another lady that had almost packed up completely and some of her boxes were still out, so we had to rummage. And I picked up two Ikea cups, which really need a good cup clean. Um, but it's a good, decent mug. You know, I like a good mug size. Um, and, yeah, they're Quest only Ikea. So, I mean, they probably would go as a pair quite nicely once they're cleaned up. But I like them. I like the design. So uh, I think you're a... swapping them out for a couple of bog standard ones we've got in the cupboard. There's a question above from Victoria. <laughs> Let's go find it. Oh, sad lamps, uh, 25 to 30. Okay, yeah, that sounds about what I've sold them before. Um, I think everybody gets affected by sad to a certain amount. Obviously, some are a lot worse than others. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Teresa, message Andrea on Instagram, link below, and, and we can, once we've had a look at, you know, what they go for, 20 to 30 apparently is the going rate, so something like that probably. Um, what, what, who is the question from? Ian says, diesel or petrol might be a good Christmas present, or an electric car. <laughs> Electric car owners right now are going, oh, God, I'm yeah, fine. Our friend Simon's very smug, very smug indeed. <laughs> he is very Mind smug. you, I was very smug about the meat shortage as well. I was like, doesn't affect me. <laughs> um, any tips on keeping simple records or paperwork for reselling? We're not the people to ask. We're, we're terrible at it. Really um, I get so stressed out with it. Don't even know if what I do is enough, really. I do self-assessment, but wonder if I should use an accountant. Um, I don't think you should necessarily need to use an accountant. Um, obviously, anything that has a receipt, keep your receipt. Um, anything that's a cash purchase, we keep a, a written record. So all of this, before it's packed away or we start to resell it, it was actually in one of my videos recently. I, I showed me writing everything down. So I we know how much we spent, and then we divide that by everything we bought in that day, and we keep a written log. You don't have to go into every detail like it might be selection of mid-century homewares and then i think we spent like six or seven pounds at that store whatever it is and we keep a written cash record that's what we do um but if you have any further questions i would ask the hmrc or an accountant because we can't give financial advice in that way or accounting advice i should say because we're not accountants um i hope that was helpful um try not to stress about it i know it's not easy but yeah um, ba, ba, ba. Uh, someone's suggesting bleach to clean up stuff. Where's where's your jugs? Did you even buy, I didn't a jug? buy any jugs today? No. Um, James is saying that the Harry Potter mug um, is worth much. You can get it in B and M. Um, oh, well, possibly, okay. but it'll be a, a stocking filler at Christmas. So. It, it will sell. Um, Currently, no. We are. We have removed all of our stock from Amazon. We did it for a while ago, and we are not currently selling anything through Amazon. Um, oh, see, so Intelligent Zombie would be interested in the Harry Potter cup. Okay. Well, as we say, message us on one of the um, contact links below, and um, we'll find price yeah. for you. Okay. Uh, so if you do want the Harry Potter Cup, um, again, just contact us, um, not through eBay, because it's not listed on eBay. Uh, Andrea's Instagram is the best place to go. <laughs> yeah, if you're on Instagram, <laughs> it's probably best to DM me. There. Milton will work on mugs too. Okay. Yeah, I've got a um, cup cleaner, so I'm going to try that. Um, registering for a, for or declaring that you are making money to HMRC isn't about volume of sales. It's about the intent. So if you're going out buying stuff with the intent to make money on it, you are operating as a business and you should declare it as far as I'm aware. But again, go to the HMRC website. All the information you need should be on there or you can ring them up for advice. But from what I've always been told, if you are going about an activity with the intent of buying things to resell or producing something to resell, you're operating as, as a business and the HMRC will want to know the income as far as I'm aware. Um, um, Teresa says that she's messaged me. Um, so, yeah, 
great um i probably won't look at it tonight because after this i'm probably gonna crash <laughs> i'm knackered um but uh, i'll get back to you tomorrow cool uh victoria says i have depeche mode i feel you oh awesome track uh on cassette tape very good condition if you are collecting i will send to you my cousin's one my cousin so one careful owner it would be lovely for the i'm i I'm not actually actively c collecting cassettes. It would be lovely to have, but I'm trying to collect um, vinyl and CDs, and I'm getting closer and closer to the to the UK collection. Apart from the really crazy valuable stuff, um, so I don't know. Do I? I don't want to put you out sending it over because I'm not really collecting cassettes. It would be a lovely thing to have, but I I don't know. I don't know what to say. I feel all weird about it now. That's a lovely thought, though. Thank you. Um, okay. How are we doing? Um, we bought a load of modelling stuff. That was the big pickup. Somebody wanted to see some media. Oh, yeah. Well, this was a strange one. We went up to a store and they had a box, a big pile of DVDs in a box. And I started having a rummage. There was a few uh, nice sealed bits in there. So I asked the usual question, how much are your DVDs? And she said something like, no, she said 50p each, or would you like the lot for a pound? Is that how the conversation went? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. But I was looking at the books at the time. So. Which really threw me. So anyway, she, I went, I looked at her and like, uh, okay, if you're serious, yeah, I'll just do that. And then the other lady on the stool looked at the first lady who said, just have it all for a pound and went, oh, no, 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 uh, two, maybe two pounds. I was like, oh, OK. And then and then she went, no, 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 maybe, maybe three pounds. And I went, OK. <laughs> and then they stopped. So I bought all of these for three pounds. Um, Jack of all trades says, is that an alien face hugger on your T-shirt? Um, no, it's Spider-Man, isn't it? It's the Spider-Man logo. Yeah. And uh, Lindsay says, it won't put me out. I'll send it for Xmas. Um, some... Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so cut. What's that? I'll send for Xmas with something for Andrea too. <gasps> what? I don't get many, very much friend mail. So that's nice. Thank you. So I can't hold them up too heavy. Yeah. I don't know what. I mean, what's... there's nothing amazing in that. It's just all. There are, uh, I was going to just buy some oh, sealed bits. <laughs> oh, sealed. The dog who saved Christmas. If somebody would like this for Christmas stocking fillers, <laughs> we'll have one of those. Most of it will be sold probably. Um, I will pick out the stuff that's worth reselling. I might make a couple of bundles. Um, the rest of it, what I tend to do is save it up and do a big, big job lot of media on Facebook, and they tend to do okay for me. Oh, Neil says, so. I've got a couple of Nerf guns here for you, Nick. Ooh, Nerf from Neil. Wow. Thanks, Neil. Appreciate it. I don't know what to do with this. <coughs> but yeah, there was a couple of fairly recent sealed ones in there. <laughs> oh, you're going to put your back out again. Oh, yeah, I pulled my back the other day. Do you know how I pulled my back? I was trying to pick up a sock. <laughs> I was sat on the side of the bed, went to pick up my sock and put my back out. Well, I didn't put it out. I, I, it felt like an electric shock went down the right side of my spine is what happened. And I twing, twinged the muscle and um, it's much better now, thankfully. Right, um, I was going to show... So we, right at the end I of the day... A guy had loads and loads of modelling stuff, like... Um, There's phonic stuff down there. I don't know if that's it. Yeah, we can share that. Well, let's see what we're talking about. Well, I'm just, it's just there, so I'll pass it to you while I'm grabbing it. Heavy. It is heavy. Well, let's do some books quick, then. Uh, I bought absolutely loads of books today. We won't show them all, um, but I'll show some. Uh, Dr. Seuss stuff always sells really well for us. Um, this is a set. It's not as big as the set I had for Ellen, I don't think. I used to read these every night to Ellen. Um, and they're amazing books. And even more amazing illustrations. I've said it before, man was a genius. Um, paid a fiver for that set. 
Easy profit there. These uh, early reader books, we had these for Ellen again, and uh, she loved them, and they really helped with oh, her reading. Yeah, yeah, and so this is a set of is it is this a set of twenty? Can't remember. Oh, here we go. Here's one of these book RRPs. One hundred and sixty-three, sixty-seven. Never sold for that. Anyway, I paid three pounds. Can't sell those on eBay. I got thrown off. What? Can't sell what on eBay? I don't know. Oh, Doctor Seuss. I think there was a couple that you can't sell, but I, thought I you sold could some sell recently. I sold a set. How long ago was it? I sold a set. I know there was a weird thing about Doctor Seuss being cancelled, etc. Mm. I'll have to look into it. But yeah, thanks for the. Uh, information what's that about biff chip and kippo now on tv are they oh i didn't know that yeah well, i see it. anyway here's another set which i think are later ones because they go up in levels don't they level four five and six these are so yeah and they sell uh rrp 123 pound 75 don't expect to sell them for that. And some phonics, Osborne books. I love these. Again, we had like all of these for Ellen. It's mad. Um, and then this lot, this is only some of it, isn't it? So we paid. Where's the rest of it then? That. Yeah. We paid, we paid the guy £20 for all of the model making stuff he had. Um, Oh, Mandy says you pinched a nerve. That's why you felt the twang. Oh, right. Is that what it is? Mm. It gave me a... It made me scream. <laughs> it was painful. And Cliff says there's tons of Dr. Seuss books on eBay. There right. might be just a, a couple. We might have to look up the titles of the ones that are um, not allowed. It might have been that, that they were within the bundle or something. So. I, I don't know. I will look into it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm sure I sold some fairly recently. Anyway, so there's a few airfix kits. Uh, one has been started, the rest are unstarted. Oddly, two of those RAF emergency ones. Um, and a nice Tiger One tank. And then the rest of it, I think, pretty much is all Doll's House stuff. <laughs> We're piling it up. So there's a bunch of books about Doll's House, furniture, building, and then I don't know why that one. That's like a a, a, a drawer oh. insert for cutlery. Oh, that's what Ellen could have done with yesterday. Yeah, perhaps we'll take it down for Ellen. There's lots of these like little kits, and then there's absolute tons of flat balsa wood and other wood some of it is uh like press out kit sets and there's just loads of it there's loads he said there's loads of just just wood for modeling and there's like plastic windows, window frames and doors. god only knows so there's this box full of it yeah. <laughs> you don't know where to put it now and you? this box it's got a load of these fairly cheap kind of little press. Oh, no. <laughs> Dusty. Got, got to you now. Press out and build sets. There's a load of um, little. Yeah, there's, oh, there's, there's loads there's of a paints. A whole box full of. A whole load of Hummel paints. Paint oh, hum Hummel. <laughs> Humble. Humble. Yeah, anyway, loads and loads of gear. And then another even bigger box that is round. That's really heavy, that one. Yeah. Just grab that top. One, you can, can show what it is. Straighten myself. Anyway, loads, loads and loads of gear. What are you doing? Straightening myself up. Oh, yeah. I am. Um, so you don't need the whole box. You can just just grab because it's just full of the same stuff, like sheets and sheets of stuff. I mean, what are they? I don't even know what they are. Yeah. Um, all stuff for like flooring. Oh, these um, are for. I bet they're for. Roof tiles. Yeah. Do you think? Maybe. 
I don't know. There's a, a great big box of these sheets. Of stuff. Anyway, it was, you get the idea. All kinds. So the guy's dad, who I think had passed away, was a modeler and made lots of doll's house stuff. And uh, that's what it was. So all of that, plus all the bits and bobs you had and the Harry Potter bits and yeah. a load of hair dye new in the box. All for 20 quid. Anyway. <laughs> that drawer could be an artist drawer for craft and paintbrushes. Maybe that was why it was all bundled in with it. Yeah. That might be, yeah. Book nooks are big on Etsy. Book nooks? What's, what does that mean? I don't know. What's a book nook? Oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> um, some of those might be discontinued paints. Possibly, yeah. I was chatting with the Warhammer pickup. I still haven't sorted it. Oh, I've got left. I've sold all of the kits and everything. I haven't sorted out the paints. Uh, I was chatting to Vinny and he was telling me about discontinued like Warhammer paints you can go for silly money because somebody wants that specific colour that they painted a squadron in, you know, yeah. and if it's discontinued, you can't get it. So, yeah, it's a good point. Well, put. <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. you have so much patience to buy games with so many bits i can't face them a lot of people i quite enjoy that i find it i think i find it quite calming to count stuff <laughs> i like to count <laughs> but i draw the line at puzzles don't like counting puzzles i don't mind puzzles <laughs> <laughs> um Anyone think that picking up a sock story may become a running joke? No, don't make it one. <laughs> um, thank you, Teresa. Yeah, it was quite a, a varied mix of stuff we picked up today. Uh, I think we've shown the, the highlights of it. Yeah. I've got a load of Meccano bits. Um, There's a few sort of bog standard books for bundles. Yeah, lots and lots of kids' books today. Oh, Plush. There's Plush behind oh, you. Oh, do you want to see Plush? Nothing's going to beat Basil, though. No. Boom, boom. <laughs> Talking Pepper Pig. Muddy Puddles Pepper. Ooh, I don't oh, to... it's been talking to us all the way home before we run out of the batteries. I don't think it was this one, because this one's not talking. Oh, OK. Oh, um, Daniel says, Humbrol paints are great quality. Cool. Or oh, a book nook. Oh, there's a corner in your house that you go to read and relax. Oh, yeah, I've got a... I've oh, got a book okay. <laughs> um, I have Warhammer books sealed, cannot sell them. Well, I've yet to list all of them. There they are. They're right there. Thankfully, we're a couple of hundred pounds in profit from the deal, so um, I can, I can, if I have to, go low on these and, and shift them. Not too worried. What's Cliff saying Cliff's about me still now? Teasing you about your hoarder video. Cliff buys everything. Is he's, he's one to talk. Oh, Cola, Lee Cola Flipper says, Neil, that reminds me of a classic family fortunes question. Name a bird with a long neck. And Naomi Campbell. <laughs> Campbell. We were watching that on Family Fortunes before we went live. Oh, there was some. Good, I can never remember them. There's some really great answers. I can't think now. No. Anyway, talking pepper, we found. And was it this one that was talking to us? No, that one's got no batteries in. Another talking he pepper. He was talking to us then. I don't know, maybe it's a dinosaur. Oh, it might have been, I suppose. I know, but he, he was like, all angry. oh, here's the, these were all chucked in with that. Yeah, group. and Nick says, says to me, <laughs> he picks that up and he says, do you fancy going red? And I went, well, it's a good job that you're observant, isn't yeah, but it? I meant like bright reds. Whatever. <laughs> Diane Buswell. Do you fancy yeah, going Diane is, Buswell red? It is Diane Buswell I think you should. Red. Vote in the chat. Should Andrew try this colour? No. I wouldn't anyway. I wouldn't use that hair dye. How about this one? <laughs> oh, oh, if we... Joanne, yes. We've seen some clips of um, the american version of family fortunes it yeah it is funny yeah 
the guy just cracks me up because he just laughs at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, you pick these up. <laughs> They're disappearing behind the uh, tower yeah, no, of cosmetics. I can't and things. read the chat. Uh, Stephen says the person behind the person talking to you was the one wearing the gold necklace who's still locked in your trunk. <laughs> <laughs> That could be it. Oh, yeah, I picked these up, but um, these are for me because I always just pick up hand creams whenever I see them. Right, plush, um, um, mostly um, like a jelly cat, for example. Um, ones that, you know, kids lose them and they want their little snuggly. So we do quite well on these. Yeah, there's a few little jelly cats. There's a duck. That's a little jelly cat. He's, he's gorgeous. He's so soft. Yeah. Oh, there's the. There you oh, yeah. go. The hungry cat. Talking of Eric Carl. And um, just for the Disney fans, there's an Olaf, his Disney store. And a tiny little Minnie Mouse, who's Disney store as well. She's now, when the twins were little, they were obsessed with um, Frozen. Probably still are. So I used to wind him up and call him Snowlaf. And Anna was Spanner. What's this? Oh, Lily, Lily and George. And Elsa was Smelsa. So when they were like three, I'd be like, oh, look, it's Snowlaf. And they'd go, oh, Uncle Nick, that's Olaf. I'd say, oh, is he friends with Spanner? Yeah, it's Anna. And then it'd be like, and her friend Smelsa. Oh, no, Uncle Nick, it's not. Oh, it went on for ages. Anyway, a uh, bag full of plush. Yeah. Oh, and I, I bought a load of um, mashes, Marvel mashes again. Oh, people are trying to convince you that you should dye your hair red. <laughs> well, I could. Oh, they come apart. I just pulled his leg off. I bought a bundle at one stall, which were 20 or 30p each, weren't they? And a big bundle at another stall. Um... So they'll be bundled up into one big bundle and sold on. Easy peasy. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. I think we're, <laughs> we've made a mess. <laughs> I think we've exhausted it. Yeah, I think so. I think we've shown the, the stuff that's vaguely interesting. That, and there's just yeah. books in that crate now, isn't there? It's just books. Yeah, left, it's just it? books. Okay. No, All right. there was some whatever that was connects. I think. Oh, some connects and some um, Meccano audio books. Oh, so yeah. showed them. Oh, you did. Okay. Oh, there we go. So yeah. What's this? I think it's collar and cuffs wouldn't match. <laughs> Talking about your red hair. If you had a red hair. Oh, God. I, I was taking that. Lit I didn't understand what that was about. Right. Yes. Down below wouldn't match my hair. Is that what that's on about? So. Right. Okay. Um, what's it? Charity? Charity what? Challenge? Di uh, well, apparently I'm already dressing up for charity. Should be interesting. That will come around quick, won't it? Because uh, that's so. the end of next month. It's about a month away. Uh, we've teamed up with the wonderful Lainey and we're um, doing we're having a... a 90s festival weekend. Yeah. So if you are a YouTuber and you would like to be involved, even if you're not a YouTuber, but you would like to still be involved on YouTube, um, then get in contact with us and you can be part of the lineup. Um, mm. If anyone saw the 80s festival that we did last year, we had all kinds of people taking part over a, the course of about four days, wasn't it? It started on Friday, ended on the Monday, um, internationally as well. And, yeah, we had quizzes. We had um, had a, D, a couple of DJ sets. We had um, just chatting generally about memories and different things and there was everything you could imagine yeah. i think about 20 30 channels got involved last time it was during first lockdown wasn't it yeah 
Um, so we're going to repeat it this year with a 90s theme. Um, and yeah, get in touch if you want to get involved, if you do have a channel. Yeah. Um, if you don't have a channel, you can still get involved. Just watch uh, yeah. and enjoy uh, and take part that way. And if you don't know what we're talking about, you're new to this channel, then um, there is a playlist for the 80s festival, I believe, on our channel. So you can have a little browse through and, and see what it's all about. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be at the end of October. Um, as we get nearer, we will create a running list of all the different people that are taking part. The idea last time was because we couldn't go to festivals last year. We had our own festival and we did it like it's almost like you're going around a festival to see different bands. You will go around YouTube seeing different YouTubers yeah. do silly stuff with a loose 90s theme. Um, the highlight of the weekend on the end of Sunday night is going to be the Spice Girls. We, we've got the Spice Girls, an exclusive reunion with Victoria on our channel. Uh-huh. Yeah. The actual Spice yeah. Girls. <laughs> They've let themselves go a bit. I hear, apparently. I don't know. Um, They've so, got a bit hairy. So that's so that's going to be um, Sunday night at some point. We we will schedule it um, near the time and let you know times and everything and put that out on Facebook. Um, so I think that's going to be kind of the big uh, Sunday night thing is the actual Spice Girls getting back together. Oh, my God, 90s. I'm all over it, says Savvy Mum. Yes. yes yes good stuff um only a bit later on maybe in the evening when he's had a few to drink <laughs> well that's that's referencing last time i think that was when lex did a bit of a dj set which he's gonna maybe do again this year well if we can convince her maybe. yeah maybe maybe yeah with some 90s tunes and i'd been drinking most of the evening <laughs> and then, then we got glow sticks up yeah. And we're dancing in the, here in the dark. Honestly, the most fun we've ever had in this office. <laughs> well, I don't know. We turned it into a nightclub. <laughs> um, Neil says, this weekend I bought tickets for two gigs for next year on a whim. Ooh, Ooh. Who are you going to see? We're going to see two gigs next. Well, one music and one comedy. We're seeing Russell Brand next month. And then we're going to see Erasure. We are. And we we went to um yeah. we went to see um oh my god mine's gone Imelda May Imelda May Imelda May who was amazing absolutely amazing it it was honestly I mean not saying that lightly I've been to hundreds of gigs didn't have any I don't know what I expected really from this mm. we've never seen Imelda she did most of her new album which is awesome because that's for me, best thing she's ever done. Um, it was it was only an hour show. It was kind of like a warm up, I think, for a bigger tour that she's going to do. Yeah. That's the impression we got. Yeah, it was a banquet records gig, so it was only an hour long. Mm. Um, it was kind of like um, an album promo type gig. Yeah. So, but despite it being a short set, yeah, probably top five gig of yeah. all time. It was Isn't it so weird when good. you when you she don't expect just... it. You know, she really interacted with the audience. And oh, yeah. there was one one point where she interacted with the audience where one very drunk girl decided she was going to push all her push her way to the front and um, barge through and get to the barrier. And the people at the barrier obviously didn't want her to be there. So it caused a little bit of a ruckus. Well, it... And Imelda stopped the, the show and she went, hang on, hang on, stop, stop, stop. She's mid singing you know <laughs> she'll stop 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 <laughs> and security she sorted it out she diffused yep. the situation it was hilarious yeah um but yeah if you if you don't know of Imelda May um look up some of her stuff um yeah. she she's really funny she's really down to earth she's got a razor sharp wit and she was just and then when you got into the singing oh, her live voice oh. was Oh my God, so yeah. so good it yeah. may be that we've been starved of live music so it was just the best thing we've ever seen but i don't <laughs> think so i think no. i think it racks up there with some of the best live performances i've ever seen anyway so yeah we're gonna see erasure uh next month they've got to live up to that now <laughs> anyway yeah. uh oh, oh here that, we go soon, soon. uh deb mouse and mark Oh, I don't even know who that is. Mark Rabile at Brixton Academy. Ooh, Ooh. Very dancey. 
See, you're so down with the kids, Neil. How did this happen? <laughs> um, excellent. Good stuff. If it's 31st, is it going to be 31st? It's the weekend at the end. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's the Halloween weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that weekend. So, we'll, we'll celebrate your birthday with you. Um, has any, what, hang on a minute. James says, has anyone been to a car boot sale and seen a hearse full of stock instead of a car? First for us today. I've never seen that. Wow. No. You'd get a lot in there. You right? would. It's, it's a good idea if you own one. <laughs> I wonder if you get like a car rate as well rather than a van rate because you can't really call it a van. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. What's Lainey saying that? Oh, is... Mm -hmm. Ron Sullivan. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm going to be having a go at that. Yeah, yeah. Lainey's putting that. That, that was oh, funny cool. last time. Yeah, that should be fun. Someone was saying that... Um... Hang on. Not this time Nick is doing it. What? what, what? Ron, Ron Ruiz Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a few of us taking part. Uh, just looked up Imelda May. Yeah, yeah. Um, Find her new album. Um, what's it called? The Eleven Past the hour. Eleven Past the Hour on Spotify. It's wonderful, it really is. Uh, yes, we are, and yes, it is. <laughs> we we are still planning to move. Uh, this year got hectic and crazy with lots of things like Ellen going to uni and trying very hard to work out this whole app thing, <laughs> which has been a steep learning curve and very time consuming and mentally consuming so that all got put on hold really but we're in no rush so no we're just currently filling the house with stuff <laughs> why wouldn't you um thanks may yeah we're looking forward to it it'll be fun and if anyone wants to take part just let us know um okay Oh, Autistic with a Chance of Mushroom says Hellfire Club is my favourite Imelda May song. I think she did that. I can't remember. I I'm not very good with song titles. Yeah. So, you yeah, know. She did mostly her new album and then some of her old, her older ones as well. Yeah. But this is the first album that we've really got into. Uh, yeah. I liked the singles from her last album. And then I heard, or I heard Made to Love. It was on Graham Norton, and I went, this is my new favourite song ever. <laughs> yeah. And then I bought the album, and... Yeah. Oh, and her husband came on and did the duet that they do. I don't do. know if they're married. Oh, they're not married? I think they're just a couple. Oh, maybe, well, I okay. Be wrong. I, don't, I don't think they're married. Um, and that was that was quite a moment. Oh, that was lovely. Um, it, it, it was one of those things where it's like, find someone that looks at you the way Imelda May's partner looks at her. <laughs> it was just gorgeous yeah surely yeah. you mean nick is filling the house with quality merch surely that's what you meant yeah. what, of course. this one's of buying course. as much as me if not more most weekends at the yeah moment. i think probably more anyway um yes it will be out over a weekend in fact there's some stuff that's going to be happening before that we're going to do in a, uh laney's organizing a raffle there's some amazing stuff in the raffle so you can just you know put a few quid in and get some kind of virtual raffle tickets which we've done before. We're going to be doing a live auction with some amazing stuff that people are putting in. Uh, we'll be putting some stuff in. Lainey's putting stuff in. Friends and are going to be adding stuff to that as well. So there's loads of good stuff to be um, won at auction. Everything for the charity, of course. And the charity we're going for is... Um, it's Mind Again, isn't it? I think so. Hmm. Which Lainey's already been raising money for with the wonderful calendars, which I think there's a few of left. I'm not sure. You'd have to ask Lainey. But yeah, so we have got into the habit now of leaving on your words of wisdom. So have a think, put some words of wisdom in, and we'll wrap up shortly. We'll pick one. Oh, well, I was just going to um, say, Chuck yep. says, what about getting another dog? Is that the same? It's happening. And no, we will not be filling Ellen's room. <laughs> we, I joked with her. We FaceTimed her today. Um, and as we said earlier, she, she's feeling a little bit more settled. I mean, it's only day two, but she is feeling a little more settled. And I joked that I was <laughs> filling her room with stuff. May loves some elder May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Uh, tea cakes, youngest daughter's first night at uni, she's out on the lash. <laughs> they are, well, they were heading down to the beach um, to watch the sunset. With, with some cider, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she went shopping today. She bought bread and cider. She <laughs> bread and cider. <laughs> all the essentials well she went with her new flatmates like like i think five of them went and they came back with bread and cider successful trip right all the essentials all the food groups actually bread and cider covers everything doesn't it? <laughs> carbs and carbs <laughs> um okay so we've got some uh we've got empty nest but full hearts um let's see other words of wisdom oh don't, <laughs> don't buy all, don't the, buy petrol. all the petrol quite relevant from uh, yeah. Donna there, yeah. Uh, let's see if any others come in. What have we got here? Um, how, what's this? Have you ever thought of having a set amount of money in a group of resellers and reselling and profits for charity? Uh, we've not tried that. Set amount of money in a group of resellers and resellers. Oh, so you, you buy stuff. And then you, a bit like bargain hunt you generate for, money for, for charity. For charity. Yeah. Uh, it's possible. It's yeah, not something we've done. We tend to do silly things on the internet to raise money <laughs> and auction stuff off. But yeah, it's a good idea. Okay, so let's see. Do you want to pick one? To toast for after your cider. Right, and maybe that's what it is. Out of sight, but not out of mind. Yeah, it's quite nice. Up to you. What do you want to pick as um, your words of wisdom? I'll carry on and going up because... Going up. Oh, oh, oh. Um, one there. I think my favourite is um, the one ab ab above. Don't buy all the petrol? No. Well, I quite like that. It's quite funny. <laughs> the first um, one that came think, in? Yeah. We're going to go with that. We're going with empty nest but full hearts because we do have very full hearts. So thank you very much for that and thank you for joining us. Um, we will try and put out some content next week. No idea what it will be. Yeah. Um, I might do a picking video. I'm kind of starting to bore myself with the picking videos, but I might do something and do it a bit different. I don't know. Um, see what happens. I will have an office full of crap, to, uh, quality merchandise uh, to clear up tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, let's leave on what your favourite item was of the day quickly. Oh, my goodness. That's I know we've done words of wisdom already, that's but I'm skin. Um, making stuff um, up now. Um, this. Yeah, probably this. Let's yeah. go with that. Um, I love all the mid-century stuff I bought today, but I think I'm probably going with that. I reckon Basil's my favorite. He's just so different. And because he's vintage, I just think there can't be many of him about, even though he doesn't work. <laughs> he doesn't go boom, boom when you pull him. Yeah. I, I might. <laughs> he doesn't. doesn't go boom, boom when you pull him. <laughs> so there we go. Anyway, thank you again for being with us. We've still got 367 like-minded nutters with us, which you is You never wonderful. get bored of your videos, Nick, so don't worry about us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, it's as much me getting bored of myself <laughs> uh, as anything. But yeah, I will, I will endeavour to put something out. And we do have one more video from our holiday to put out. So if you've enjoyed those, that little mini series, there's one more coming from the Eden Project. And thank you for all the lovely comments on my last video on my channel um, because I changed things up a little bit and it seems to be quite a positive um, reaction to the voiceover the way that I did it this time. So, yeah, yeah, I'll probably do some more of that. Yeah, if you, don't, videos. if you don't follow Andrea, please, the link below is to Andrea's channel. Uh, go and give that some support as well. Right. We'll leave you there. Enjoy your Sunday evenings and we'll see you next week, if not before. Have a good week, everyone. Bye. Can't find the button. <laughs> Awkward way. <wank. laughs>